Hi everyone, it's Cynthia from Ladybug Hugs. Um, this is one of the, tu the tutorials for the rock painting lessons that a friend asked me to do. Um, today we're going to start painting this little guy, this little victim, I mean rock. Um, I wanted to mention I use acrylic paint. Um, you can mix liquid watercolor with it, but not too much. Um, acrylic paint, if it's too thick, you can dilute it with a couple of drops of water, but use it like dil dilute it one drop at a time because otherwise it will get too runny. Okay, and there is what is called um, an extender paint, which will allow you to mix it with the acrylic paint to extend the drying time, but that's getting into the realm of <laughs> uh, more complicated than I think we need to work with for this rock. So I'm just going to do a simple polka dot thingy rock. I'm going to be using my favorite type of tool, my everlasting toothpicks. Actually, I think that's my last one of this version. Um, I've done beautiful uh, flowers with, with these toothpicks and um, it's really a work of love more than anything um, because they do take a lot of time when it's a big rock and... I will, um, I do have pictures posted on the Facebook page. Um, so all you do, like I said in a previous tutorial, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You cannot screw this up. You cannot be, oh, I, I can't do this, I'm not good enough. That doesn't work when it comes to rock painting. Seriously, okay? What you do is, is awesome okay what may not be good enough for you may be a work of art for someone else and the idea of painting these rocks and leaving them for someone to find is basically you're leaving these little smiles for someone and we don't know the battles that people are going through right so who knows your rock may just be the, the hug that somebody needs so go ahead and just let your inner child loose. Let your 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 creativity go and just go crazy. This is your chance to just let the crazy out. You know, like it's just have fun. Whatever you do, if you start feeling frustrated, put it away. That's that's the way I look at it. When I start getting ticked at it and the French really starts to come out, then I put it away because I know I'm not having fun and it, that's there's no point in doing it. So, and I am left-handed so so this is how I usually start and it's already starting to dry you can tell there's a skin if there's a skin that starts to form you kind of just you can just move it aside like that and now my dog's gonna ask to go out because I'm busy <laughs> so I usually start at the middle and I'm, we're just gonna do whatever and just and you have to remember I've been doing this many years I haven't done it in a while though um, oh look it's not round oh no oh the world's gonna end um, it's I just do it for fun and there's times at night when I can't sleep when the anxiety hits um, this is what I do. I pick up a bottle of paint, a toothpick, a rock, and I just sit in my chair and I kind of go to town and see with, with a toothpick you can do teardrops, if you want to call it that. Obviously, if you are put something underneath your, your work surface, if you're worried about... Um, dripping <laughs> I've done that quite a bit come so and I'm I'm leaning my my toothpick I'm see and I'm pulling it see so I'm putting a lot of paint at the tip to do the teardrops and then I'm pulling it forward And I, I apologize, I don't have anyone else to hold the phone for me, so 
the dog won't do it, no matter how much I ask. And the dog I am referring to is called Dewey, and he's my therapy dog. And he's talked a lot about on my page because he's my chicken monkey. And he's a very handsome boy. Actually, he's a very handsome boy. See? So he's uh he's very well known where I live. Because he used to be a public therapy dog and now he's my therapy dog, which works for me. So we're gonna start with that. I'll be right back. I don't know how long I have on these videos, so if they cut out, they'll be continued in another one. It's always a good idea also to keep a uh, paper towel handy in case, in case you need to wipe something. So I'm just going to experiment here just for fun. So you just kind of poke it in and pull it out. <laughs> oh, I can hear some of my friends already laughing at me. See? And I didn't do any background painting on this rock simply because I'm too lazy. <laughs> so this one's going to have seeds. I'm going to call it seeds coming out. It's going to be a seed rock. And it's just going to it's going to be like a dandelion thing. I'm not used to filming as I paint. I'm used to holding my stuff. But that's okay. So, you see, I just poke it in and I drag it. And with the wet paint, and if you were holding the rock, see how it's easy to just make these designs? Like that. Whoa! And with the sound effects, it makes it even better. People have a tendency to leave you alone if they think you're nuts. So, you know. And you just keep going. Why purple? Why not? Purple is the answer to life. I don't know. So, did I miss it? It's my here. No. Okay. So let's just say I have a friend who loves purple. <laughs> While I finish this, before I run out of time, make sure you check out the Ladybug Hugs fan page on uh, Facebook. There's a contest on right now, so that whoever likes the page, shares, and tags a friend can win a print of the some of the artwork that I have, which is actually relatively normal, um, believe it or not. <laughs> so go ahead and take a look and share it if you like it. I would appreciate it. And if you have any comments, if you have any questions, if you want to know how to do this or that, please by all means ask and I will do my best to show you. And if you don't like what you're seeing, you just go Mwah. Yeah, you just do like a black hole. I put a lot of paint. It's like a Dairy Queen ice cream thing. Mixed with Bluebell ice cream. Never had that one. I have a friend who lives in Texas and she keeps teasing me with that. <laughs> voila. Et voila. So just see how I just kind of overpainted it because I didn't like it. That's all you gotta do. There's no right or wrong way. It's your rock. It's your piece of art. And until you say it's finished, it's finished. You've got the say in it. And then you're going to let it dry. And then I will show you in the next tutorial what to do to keep it 
Nice. And looking good. All right. So we will see you very shortly. God bless you.